All right, let's talk about Marvin Harrison Jr., a guy who many people are talking about as a potential generational talent. Well, that term gets thrown around a lot these days, and you know, I'm never I've never been one to just agree with the consensus just to agree with consensus. So do I agree with this? Do I think he is a generational? Well, let's get into it. There's certainly, I mean, he's great. Uh, Watching the film, he's great. And there's stuff like this that really just jumps out at you. Um, Something, the way the play works, it's going to be an out route, which he's so deadly on these types of routes. Uh, There's, you know, a defensive back who's going to be covering him. But watch out, you know, defensive back was playing kind of off, but immediately has to bail despite the fact that he was giving so much space because of how just fast and explosive Harrison Jr. is, right? The way he's able to get here is really impressive. Um, But again, he isn't running a go route here. So watch him cut so smoothly and look at that separation. Ball was missed. It is what it is. But, you know, he did a great job on that play. And all I care about is, you know, how good are you doing as a receiver, not how good is the quarterback doing? There were some missed throws that maybe would have gotten him some more yards, but that's the life of a college football wide receiver. So like, yeah, I mean, listen, there's, uh, you know, definitely that's kind of what will jump out at you is how explosive he is and how well he cuts, which, hey, for a wide receiver, those are two pretty important things. And like also this play, the route running is just fantastic, where again, it's going to be a one-on-one matchup, which you really couldn't do in college because he would win like every time. He's playing in the slot right here. So, okay, can he win in different ways? That's interesting. Watch how when this play begins, you see that right here, so the defensive back is turned towards the top of the screen as Harrison fakes as though he's going towards the middle of the field, and getting a situation like this is great. If he was just running over the middle of the field, it probably would be over. He'd probably be in a great situation, but this isn't what he's doing. It's it's a fake. Watch him then cut back towards the other side. He completely discombobulates the uh, defensive back and is able to get wide open. I mean, he can he can make you look silly. He really can. And he did this pretty consistently in college. Play like this is another one. Once again, going to be a one on one matchup. Once again, he is currently not as the outside receiver right here, but will be eventually going towards the outside. However, here, this isn't some great route running trick that he was doing on I would really say those last two plays, because the first one did a great job of not giving away what he was doing until he did it. The second one, of course, I talked about the route running stuff. Here, he's kind of just running to his spot. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you have to do as well, right? Like the defensive player is not in a horrible position, but are you going to be fast enough to keep up with Harrison Jr.? Well, here the answer is absolutely not. Watch him kind of blow by and he even gets back and catches the football. So some of this stuff is just truly, again... I think it's fair to say, I do think it's fair to say, there are some more wow highlights that some other players could give you, but nowhere near the consistency that Marvin Harrison Jr. gives you, and his wow highlights are still pretty wow. Also, something like this, which, like, this is an important aspect of, you know, I think the question you have with these types of plays, so you see a defensive player is going to tackle him, and, you know, uh, there's a debate, I think it's fair to say, about being able to make guys miss, and how valuable is that? Not not to say that it's not valuable, because of course it is, but like, when it comes to a college prospect, how much do you pay attention to that when you're drafting them? Here, you see Harrison uh, Jr. makes that guy miss. He picks up a first down right here, and, and for me personally, like, I, you know, it's something where I feel like I used to kind of throw this off and say, okay, yeah, you made it miss, but who knows if that's going to work out at the NFL level, so let's not pay attention to that. Let's just focus on other things things um you know like what could uh it was Nikhil Harry was a guy who was really good at making guys miss uh didn't really work out at the NFL level uh you know uh I think Kadarius Tony another guy who was kind of like that it does happen where if that's something you rely on it can be an issue but Harrison Jr it doesn't rely on it it's just a part of his game it's just something he can bring to the table I actually think he's really underrated in open space. I think he does some really good stuff there. And again, maybe it won't always work at the NFL level, but it's more likely that it will work at the NFL level if you can do it in college, at least, and he can do it in college. I also think going over here, this is another interesting aspect. So, you know, can you win on the outside? It's such an important aspect of of football. Can you win on the outside? And you see, it's going to be a one-on-one matchup with a single safety deep. I mean, this is this is the ultimate, like, you're a number one receiver if you can win on these routes. You're not if you can't. That's how I've always viewed it. Well, here you're going to see that, I mean, again, doesn't have much, not much contact at the line. And you see him just blow by. He has that acceleration to just get by the defender who is trying to cover him. On top of this, he does make a good sideline catch, you know, good contested 
catch there. So that was really well done. And that's, again, one of the many things he brings to the table. What are the negatives? Well, well, there's not much. There really isn't a lot of like downsides in his game. I would say the one is he doesn't always come down with those. Like right here, it's going to be a pure, like, let's just throw one up and hope that he can make a play. Ball gets knocked out. Good play by number seven for Rutgers. And that was a good defensive play. I don't even know how much you want to criticize, uh, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. for that one. I, I really don't. But at the same time, you do want to see him come down with these, and, and it would happen where the contested catches wasn't elite. There, there's other guys who are better than him. Now, on the very next play, this happened where the ball got thrown to Harrison Jr., and he uh, made the grab and was able to get a touchdown. That was actually two plays later, but still. like, So I'm not saying he was bad at it by any means, but there definitely were times I saw where he would drop passes or fail to come up with some tough catches as well. Uh, th that's just not his game. Um, but he can do it on occasion as well. I think personally, my, my biggest critique of Marvin Harrison Jr., other than like the occasional drop or the occasional not winning on a contested catch, uh, really is just the hype around him. Like no one has gotten more overhyped ever than how overhyped Marvin Harrison Jr. currently is. Uh, I mean, you know, it's at the point where I put it in my notes. If this guy ends up being DJ Moore, people are going to call him a bust, right? Because of how much, how high of expectations there are on him. I don't really see a scenario where he ends up not being good. Like that, again, it's, there that, that that's not fair to say because there's always a scenario where a prospect could end up not working. Like there is no such thing as a perfect prospect. I do believe that. That being said, he feels like a pretty high floor type of guy. Like it feels really unlikely that there's, you know, it feels like there's so many ways he wins in college. It feels likely that some of those are going to work in the NFL level. Maybe they won't all work. Maybe they won't all work with a super high consistency. It feels very unlikely that, uh, you know, that none of them will work. Now, I think you could say, well, does he have the highest ceiling in the uh, draft process? Well, if, if you watch my video where I talk about my in effect, inability to uh, evaluate wide receivers, one thing I kind of talked about is that I think ceiling sometimes can lead you the wrong way. And in the past, I've had bad takes due to focusing on ceiling too much. At the end of the day, it, you know, in the NFL level, you want a guy who's going to get open nine out of 10 times, not a guy who's going to get really open one out of 10 times, right? So that's kind of what you pay attention to. And I think uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. could be able to do that. And I think he will be able to do that. So is he worth the hype? Yeah, I, I would say so. I think he's worth the hype. Uh, again, expectations are going to be too high. Uh, too much is going to be asked of a young player probably, but would he be someone who I would be totally you know, fine with drafting outside of, you know, if you like a quarterback, uh, drafting him, you know, first uh, out of the non-quarterbacks? Like, yeah, I, I, I would. I haven't evaluated a lot of the other guys yet, so maybe I'll like someone else more, but he is at least worth that uh, in a typical draft. So yeah, that's kind of how I view Marvin Harrison Jr. at this point. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Marvin Harrison Jr.? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.